Welcome back to the Gilded Bubble. This is Carrie, and today I'm going to be making coconut latte soap. Um, this is actually a remake. Um, a friend of mine said that uh, he wanted a coconut and coffee scented soap, and I obliged, and it turned out so well it sold out. So um, I am remaking this guy, and it is currently available for sale on my website, and that is thegildedbubble.com. I'll put a link, don't worry. Um, so I've already added my lye solution and because I've used this fragrance combination before and I know it's not going to accelerate too bad, it does accelerate a little, um, but I'm using this for the, I'm not, I'm not really doing any colors. I'm just going to do a drop swirl and I'm only adding a little bit of titanium dioxide. So the scent that I'm using here is my own blend. I'm using a, a coffee scent and also a coconut scent. Um, what's interesting about this fragrance blend is that it actually um, smells kind of you know, like it's got some notes of caramel and vanilla in it as well. So it's really great, especially if you like a coffee scent. This is a good natural smelling coffee. It's not really artificial smelling. So, um, but I'm gonna get this just to emulsion because again, this fragrance will accelerate slightly and then I'm going to add some titanium dioxide to the swirl um, to lighten it up because this, both of my fragrances that I've mixed together here, discolor. And um, when I made this soap before, it actually came out a nice rich brown and it's perfect. It looks like a latte. So I don't wanna do anything to this except for pour out just enough to get a nice lighter colored drop swirl. It kind of ends up looking like the cream or the milk in your coffee. Um, although you won't see that here because again, the discoloration happens over time. So what I am doing is I'm going to add some titanium dioxide to that smaller pitcher and that won't darken quite as much once it's got that little bit of whitening to it. And so it will end up with a nice natural looking swirl to it. Um, it won't come out white, but it won't be dark brown like the other and it'll still, still provide a little contrast. However, so when I go to cut this, you won't see much of a contrast, but what I'm going to do is I'm also going to include photos of it as it cured so that you can see kind of how, um, how that process happens over time. Because when you first make it, it's almost, it looks just like plain soap uh, with a little bit of a lighter swirl, almost like a ghost swirl. And then as it cures, it gradually gets darker and darker. And by the time it finishes curing, it's just absolutely beautiful. So I'm stick blending just a little bit to get that titanium dioxide mixed in. I don't wanna to do too much because again, everything that's going into this will accelerate. So you notice there, I'm kind of at just a really light trace. That's good enough. Um, but I'm starting to panic a little because I told my mom she could pour it and she didn't have gloves on yet at this point. So I was telling her, you gotta get gloves on <laughs> and she's panicking to find a pair of gloves. So once she gets her gloves on and we get all situated, then she's gonna get to do the drop swirl, her first one ever. So she was really excited about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour, while she's getting her gloves on, This is, I'm going to go ahead and pour um, the little bit of the base layer. Actually, after seeing the cut, and I'll show you what I mean when we get there, I kinda wish I hadn't poured quite as much in there, but it does still come out. It's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful little swirl. I love a tonal, like a, you know, tone on tone kind of thing. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I like like a single color and one's just slightly different than the other. I love that. It's just, it's so pretty to me because it's so subtle. Um, and I like that. And here I'm telling her to go ahead and just move back and forth and pour it. And she's like, okay, so worried she's gonna do it wrong. She does beautifully. And I told her, you know, go ahead and vary your height a little bit. If you do some real close, you'll get it real, you'll get real shallow ones. And if you go lower down, you'll get deeper um, swirls. And you know, if you pour a lot, you'll get a big swirl. And if you pour a little, you'll get a smaller one. And then I saved this little bit so that she would have um, a little more swirling. So when she pours this next one, it's gonna cut through that darker layer I put on top and create a more defined swirl and more swirls in it overall. So it's gonna come out really cool. But of course you gotta scrape all the batter out of the bowl. No wasting soap. We don't waste soap around here. Well, we waste a little, but, cause you know that little bit that stays stuck to the bowl, it's how you clean it. I love, love, love being in my new soaping space. I just transformed a spare bedroom in my house and uh, oh, there she goes higher. And I can now leave soap dishes, sit out, 
because there are no no one is allowed in here but me and my soap and anyone who's making soap and dressed for soaping so no cat hair nothing to worry about and I can leave the soap dishes sit overnight and I can just wash them with the soap that's on them hallelujah I I absolutely love it you guys oh and as you can see here too oh my gosh I didn't really notice this while we were doing it, but you can really see where it started to set up. See how gloopy that's getting? It looks like pudding. That is set, that set up really, because that's the, remember, that's the pot that I put the TD in. So that titanium dioxide is like, hey, soap, we're going to saponify right now. And I'm like, no, you're not. Um, but yeah, I had to hurry up and take that from her to go ahead and scrape that so that I could get the rest of that in there because otherwise we just have a globby mess. But wait till you see the cut. It really kind of just looks like cheese and all <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen, you know, I've heard of meat soap. I've never really heard of cheese soap. Um, so prepare yourself. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm really happy with how this one came out. It's a really great smell. Uh, my soaping room still smells uh, like coffee a day later. So let's go ahead and beat that down so we get all of the air bubbles out, although there aren't many because it was so fluid. And look at me cleaning up my space. I'm getting so professional. Look at that stainless steel table, y'all. I so love working in this space. It's so much better than using my kitchen. You know, then you're not constantly having to like make sure there's nothing in the sink, make sure you're wiping everything down. I mean, I do still wipe everything down, but it's like you have to be extra careful with your kitchen. All right, so that I'm going to leave sit there. It's going to it's going to saponify overnight, and then we get to come back and cut it, and then we get to wait for it to cure. But you get to see the cut in 3 2 all right, y'all, it's cutting time. Hey, look at the nice gel I got in that. But doesn't that look like a giant block of cheese, especially especially with that little bit of soda ash on top? It looks like a nice stinky cheese. Don't eat it, though. It's soap. And besides, later on, it's going to look more like chocolate than so Well, that's not good either. Don't eat that either. But yeah, so that was my just my little sample end piece. And the next one, and that was pretty solid on the end because, again, when you're doing a drop swirl, it's really hard to get into the corners and the edges. You can a little bit, but you're never gonna get it all the way to the edge. First one, are you excited? Now see how subtle that swirl is? Looks kind of like a ghost swirl, but that's gonna darken up. You can already see too around the edge where it didn't gel, that's already kind of darker, um, but it's gonna go brown. It is not gonna stay anywhere near this color. And um, the process to me on this one, I might use more discoloring fragrances just for the fun of it. Oh, look at how great my mom did with that swirl, though. Way to go. High five, Carol. I can't wait. I cannot wait to get my damn multi-bar cutter fixed. Yet, and yet I keep putting off fixing it. I was just trying to get in real tight so you could see how those swirls are. And then there's the cheese rind. I love it. I have never had a soap look like cheese before. The um, the last version of this that I did was even lighter, I think. I think I put less. One of the fragrance oils that I use has less discoloration to it. And I think this time I went ahead and put a little bit more of the discoloring one in it because I didn't mind it as much. And I thought it needed a little more of that scent. Um, and I think it might have been the coconut. Um so I think that, I mean, I know it was the coconut I put more in there, but I think it, um, look at that great swirl. Look at that. Yeah, I think that might be why it's a little bit more gold colored, I guess. My last batch was a little more cream, like butter colored. But still, it's going to darken up nice and that swirl is just going to be so, doesn't that look like, it'll, it's going to look just like cream in the coffee. It's great. And that's why I said coconut latte instead of, you know, coconut and coffee or I don't know what else I would have called it. It just, it reminded me of the way it looks when they do latte art. Yay, good swirls. I just, you know, I, I hate cutting soap like this. I just feel like I never get it even, although this one came out pretty even. I was real careful with it. I love this bar. Oh my gosh, those big old fat swirls on that one side. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do weird voices, but hey, what are you going to do? Could edit it out, but then you wouldn't get to know the real me. Look at that. Oh, great swirl, Mom. Standing O. So there it is, freshly cut. And the next photo you see is going to be a few days later.
coconut latte bar. As always, if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can also leave a comment, that would be great. Let me know what you think of this soap. And of course, if you really love my channel, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram or Facebook or at thegildedbubble.com. And thanks for watching. Thank you.